Okay, hi my math friends. It is lesson 38, multiplication facts. We're talking about the math facts that you need to be know knowing. And we're going through strictly a group of math facts that we call the memory group. These are the ones that you really do need to know. Well, you need to know all of them. But there are a handful of them that we haven't really addressed. And once you have these under your belt, I think everything else just kind of comes and falls into place. So let's review the, the math facts that you need to have ready to go. Our first one is, see, I'm going to take my cursor, is 3 times 4 equals 12. Our next one is 3 times 6 equals 18. Um, by the way, for this one, 3 times 6 equals 18. I think 3 times 6 I think of 18. This is an adult. You're an adult when you turn 18. So the, I think of this as the adult math fact. 3 times 7 equals 21. When I'm personally looking at this, I kind of think it's cool that 3 is an odd number and 7 is an odd number and 21 is an odd number. So go figure. You multiply all these odd numbers and you get 21. So 3 times 7 is 21. Um, there's also 3 times 8 is 24. You think about it. Make something that, that make, a, um, make a story in your mind that helps you remember this. And you will find that once you've got that going, it makes it a lot easier to keep it in your brain. 4 times 6 is 24. Here we have another even, even, 24. And the other thing that's interesting about this, you have 4 times 6 equals 24. I find it interesting that 2 plus 4 equals 6. 4 times 7 equals 28. 4 times 8 is 32. Here's another where it's even, even, 32. 6 times 7 equals 42. 6 times 8 equals 48. 7 times 8 equals 56. Now, I feel like these are really the heavy-duty ones that you really have to memorize. But look, they're not a ton. And once you have them, they're going to be in your mind forever. So don't lose hope. Keep working on it. Um, I tell my students, pick one. And for through the day, think about it. Think about when you've seen that math fact or um, if you want to write it on your hand and then look at it through the day. The only, the big thing that I, that I found with learning math facts is you need to really think about them and think about them often and use them. Um, it does take time, so don't be discouraged, but keep it up because it will make your math life so much easier. Now, um, now that we have that heavy have you thing going. Let's talk about math facts over here. We know to skip count by tens and um, it's almost ridiculous how easy this is. 10 times 1 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, 30, 40, 10 times 5 is 50, 10 times 6 is 60, 10 times 7 is 70, 10 times 8 is 80, 10 times 9 is 90, 10 times 10 is 100, 10 times 11 is 110, and 10 times 12 is 120. I love it. Totally beautiful. 11s are just about as easy as 10s, although there are a few at the end that I have to, I have to personally think about. So we have 11. 1 times 1 is 11. 1 times 2 is 22. Wait, 22. Then one, 3 times 11 is 33. 4 times 11 is 44. 5 times 11 is 55. 6 times 11 is 66. 7 times 11 is 77. 8 times 11 is 88. 9 times 11 is 99. 10 times 11 I have to think about that 110. By the way, did you notice that those match? Then I have to think about these, these last ones, because it doesn't necessarily follow the rule. So 11 times 11 is 121. And then 11 times 12 
is let's see, one, 131. So you have to think about these, these last ones. So those are the ones that I have to memorize and you need to memorize them too, okay? Finally, 12s. 12s, um, I just think of 10, um, 10 times 10, and then I add, I add the um, number that's multiplied by two. So I'll show you. I say 10 times, let's see, 12 times one is 12. 12 times two is 24. 12 times three is 36. 12 times 4 is 48. 12 times 5 is 60. 12 times 6 is 72. Oops. 12 times 7 is 84. 12 times 8 is 96. 12 times 9, I have to think about this one. I just have to you know, and when I'm thinking about it, I can just add 12. I have to think it is 108. 12, let's see, we have this 12 times 8, 12 times 9, 12 times 10 is 120. 12 times 11 is 100 and 12 times 11 is 130. Oh, wait, I'm like, that does not, guys, that is not right. 12 times 11 is 121. 12 times, oh wait, 12 times 10 is 120. 12 times, hang on. So we have 12 times eight, this is 12 times nine, 12 times 10. Now we have 12 times 11, and that is 131. Phew. I was getting starting to panic there, and then 12 times 12 is 144. And this is what happens when I don't have my little numbers out here to help remind me. So we have 12 times 10 is 120, 12 times 11 is 131, and 12 times 12 is 144. So, oh wait, 132, 132, I'm like, here we go. Okay, so as we're working on this, I need to clarify, because as I'm looking, I'm like, Mrs. Todd, did you do that correctly? So let's go over my 11s and 12s. First off, 12 times 10, 11 times 10 is 110. 11 times 11 is 121 and 11 times 12 is 132. When we get to our 12s, we know that 11 times 9 is 108. 11 times 12 is 120. Thank goodness, don't we love the 10s? And 11 times 11, 12 times 11 is 132. And finally, 12 times 12 is 144. So, I'm going to have you pause for a moment and then you are going to do the lesson practice and we will correct it here in a sec. We are, um, you should have these written out and you should have these completed. And then we're going, to co we're going to correct. 11 times 11 is 121. 12 times 12 is 144. 12 times 9 is 108. 12 times 6 is 72, 12 times 8 is 96, 12 times 7 is 84, 12 times 5 is 60, and 12 times 11 is 132. And there you have it, my friends. Please keep working on your math facts. I wish you well and the homework.